if you're watching this video, your photos probably suck and yeah, I know that sounds pretty harsh, right? But you're not alone. Every single photographer starts where you are right now. Lost, alone, scared. I'm f***ing scared right now! And completely dissatisfied with the quality of their images. Now, to be quite frank, I've certainly been there myself. Heck, at one point, I hated my photos so much that I almost quit photography altogether. Now, happily, I stuck with it, and you should as well. Now, as I discovered all those years ago, there is a solution to fix this problem, like in this video, too. All right, all right. That's a shameless plug to give some love for this video. That's not funny. Which would be great and all, but... Look, the real solution is a 10-step process that we're going to talk about right now. Now, when you're getting started in photography, it's easy to think that you need to pick a specific genre and stick with it. But the, the truth is, you don't, friend. Photography is a vast field with endless possibilities, and it's perfectly fine not to box yourself into a niche from the get-go. Now, what you need to do is explore all genres of photography, from landscapes to portraits, macro, street. You might find the thrill of capturing candid moments on the streets or find the tranquility of shooting serene landscapes. You never know what's going to spark your passion Heck, unless you get out there and try. But the important thing is to remember is that your niche isn't going to be decided in a day. This is going to evolve over time as you discover what you truly enjoy and what really resonates with your audience. So friend, get out there, experiment with different styles of subjects and let your niche find you. Listen, the best camera is the one that you have. I know, you've heard this probably before. Your smartphone, point and shoot, DSLR, a mirrorless camera, friend, it doesn't matter, at least in the beginning at least. Now what matters is that you get out there and start. Don't wait for the perfect shot. Don't wait for the perfect lighting. Start clicking, start exploring. Believe me, every photo that you take, good or bad, is going to be a step forward to becoming a better photographer. Remember, photography is like any other skill. It's about practice, experimentation. The more you shoot, the more you learn. It's as simple as that. I'll go one step further. When you're starting out, focus on quantity rather than quality. What did you say? I'm going to say that again. Quantity rather than quality. Now, there are so many things that you need to learn. Aperture, shutter speed, ISO, composition, and that's just the start. When you put your time and effort into taking the shots, you're going to learn all these things in the process. You've got to put in the reps, and I'm sure you heard this saying, your first 10,000 photos are going to be the worst. Well, Friend, there is a lot of truth to that. It really speaks to the fact that photography, like any other skill, is something that you need to practice to get better. Every photo that you take is a step towards getting that 10,000 shot, and more importantly, becoming a better photographer. It's about practice, experimentation, and learning from your mistakes. Photography isn't a skill that you're gonna master overnight. It's a art form that takes time practice and patience. And don't be disheartened if your early shots don't match up to the vision of the work of the photographers that you admire. Remember, they started out where you are right now. Consistency is the key here. Make it a habit to shoot regularly, whether it's daily, weekly, or whatever fits your schedule. The more you shoot, the more you will learn. It's as simple as that. Yes! With each click of the shutter, you're honing your skills, training your eye, and getting one step closer to capturing those stunning shots that you aspire to create. Now, one of my favorite books is called The Compound Effect. It's by Darren Hardy. In the opening chapter, Darren gives the example of someone trying to lose weight. Now, in this book, he starts off with the example, if you want to lose weight and each morning you have a bagel and cream cheese. Now, if you not eat that bagel and cream cheese one day. Are you going to notice any weight loss? No, probably not. But if you remove that bagel and cream cheese every single day for a period of days or you know into weeks and so forth, and perhaps sprinkle on top of that a 15 brisk a 15 minute brisk walk, yeah, the compound effect starts taking in place and you will lose weight. Not a matter of if, might, or maybe. So stay patient, stay consistent, keep clicking, keep learning. Remember, every great photographer was once a beginner. Your journey to greatness, if you stick with this, is just beginning. Success in photography isn't about snapping the occasional stunning shot. It's about building a system, a routine that fosters regular practice, learning, and growth. It's about establishing front a workflow that takes you from inspiration to click to edit 
all seamlessly and don't think about your next photo. Think about how you can organize your time to regularly scout locations, practice different techniques, review shots, learn new editing techniques, consider how you can batch process your photo editing or plan your next photography outing. By creating a system, you're setting yourself up for consistent progress and growth. Friend, you're not taking pictures, you're becoming a photographer. So start thinking about your system today. Guys, I can't stress this enough. Start taking photos. As I said before, it doesn't matter if you're using a phone or a high-end DSLR. The gear isn't the key here. It's about getting started. Your first photo doesn't need to be a masterpiece. It probably won't be, and that is okay. Perfection is not the goal here. The aim is to start, learn, and grow. So turn that camera on, frame up the shot, and hit the shutter button. It's that simple. Remember, Every single pro out there started with a single photo. Your photo, your journey starts with the first click. Don't overthink it, just do it. This is something that I cannot stress enough. Photography is a art, it's a science, it's a craft kind of all rolled up into one. It's not just about pointing a camera and pressing the shutter button, but about understanding the interplay of light, composition, perspective, and emotion. But here's the good news. We live in a time where knowledge is more accessible than ever. It's a incredible wealth of resources available to you. Heck, pipelined into your personal computer or phone. Online courses, photography books, mentorships, workshops, even YouTube tutorials. Go figure. There's a lot of methods to suit everyone's needs. And yes, it is an investment, but think of this as an investment into your growth and into your passion. Your understanding of photography will deepen. Your skills, my friend, will sharpen and your work will reach absolutely new heights. Remember, again, Every photographer started from the point where you are right now, not knowing what aperture meant or hell, how to even frame up a shot, but they kept learning, kept experimenting, and over time honed their craft. And friend, you can do the same as well. Now, think about this here. When you look at some of the elite successful out there, and putting aside the ones that were kind of spoon-fed their success, and look at the people that really got to where they are, that came from kind of humble, origins like you and I. These people got to where they are, not because they had an easy, they had an easy path. No, these people fell down more than others, but learned how to get up. Friend, they fell down more than others and learned how to get up. So stay curious, keep learning, push yourself to learn new techniques, to step outside that comfort zone. The more you learn, the better your photos will become, the more your unique style will shine through. Now embarking on a creative journey can be, daunting and you know I've got the solution for you our most popular course you know on photography talk over the number of years has been our 30 day creative eye challenge look this is a groundbreaking easy to follow 30 day creative eye course that is designed to provide you with the perfect roadmap to kickstart your photography prowess so getting you to see and photograph more creatively. So what's gonna happen here is each day you're gonna dive headfirst into a unique photography lesson. Then you're gonna have an actionable task that's essential for your growth as an artist. Now with enlightening lesson and inspiring images, it's gonna ignite your imagination so you'll be ready to learn on the go, acquire skills that you need for success in seeing creatively. And the plus side is you won't have to endure endless mind-numbing videos as well. The course is all about action participation and hands-on learning, really as it should be. So get ready to unlock your true potential and watch your creativity soar to unimaginable heights. And what I will do is I will put a link in the description below uh, to the actual 30 Day Creative Eye uh, challenge, as well as we'll put a coupon code down there for you. Boom. I don't know why I dropped that because this is clearly not a mic, but anyways, having some fun. All right, folks, it's now time to put yourself out there. Whether you're on Instagram, photography blogs, or professional networks like LinkedIn, start sharing your photographs. You see, photography is a form of communication. It's a way to express your perspective, and communication requires an audience, so don't hold back. Share your work and invite others into your visual journey. Now, you might feel vulnerable initially, and honestly, everybody does, but feedback and interaction will help you grow and define your style. It's a really a great way to connect with others who share your passion and learn from them as well. So remember, every photograph that you share is a step forward in your journey. So start sharing in 
keep on shooting. Now, you didn't think I would leave this opportunity to pass without a little self-promotion, did you? Remember, no man is an island and no photograph should be either. And that's why over 14 years ago, I started a little website that you, hey, you might have heard of, photographytalk.com. Now, this is a place for photographers to connect, learn, and share their work. It's a real social network for Shutterbugs. And hey, I want to be a good businessman if I didn't tell you about it, right? I mean, I got to pay for my endless supply of camera lenses somehow, but all joking aside, communities like Photography Talk are a absolute treasure trove of knowledge and inspiration. They're going to provide you with all sorts of opportunity to exchange ideas, get feedback on your work, and even collaborate with future projects. So don't go alone into the world of apertures and long exposures. Dive into a photography community, starting with my total unbiased recommendation, photographytalk.com. It is a game changer for growth as a photographer. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for getting it right in the camera, but let's be real here. The magic doesn't stop when you press the shutter button. Heck, this is only the beginning. Learning photo editing is like discovering your superpowers. You can enhance colors, exposure, crop out pesky photo bombers. The possibilities are absolutely endless. So whether you're a Lightroom loyalist or a Photoshop fan, or you swear by another editing tool, it's really essential to get familiar with post-processing world. Now think about this as your secret sauce to your photography burger. This is a tasty burger. Sure, you can have the burger without any sauce, but man, why would you want to? So if you're serious about leveling up your photography game, dwell into the world of photo editing, and it could be the difference between a good photo and one that is absolutely mind-blowing. Yeah, baby, <laughs> yeah. Now, as you've watched this video, not only are we moving fast here, this is a fast paced one here, but have you noticed the patterns in these tips? I can't stress this enough. Photography is a art. It, like any other art, it thrives on creativity, exploration. Don't just confine yourself to one genre, as I mentioned earlier. Heck, try them all. Landscapes, portraits, street, macro, abstract, whatever catches your eye. Play around with different techniques, different lenses, or even different cameras. Heck, why not throw in some new editing skills into the mix as well? Remember, your first attempt may not be a masterpiece. Friend, that is okay. It's all part of the journey. It's about finding your voice or your style, your unique perspective. It's about making mistakes, learning from it. So don't fear experimentation. Embrace it because at the end of the day, photography is all about capturing the world as you see it. There you have it, folks. My top 10 tips for aspiring photographers. Now, remember... The key to success is to pick up a camera and simply start snapping. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and start capturing your perspective. And remember to subscribe to the channel for more tips that will help you maintain your momentum in your journey to becoming a skilled photographer. It is a long journey, friend, but it's not something that you have to do alone. Instead, the Photography Talk team will be right here along your side, cheering you and giving you the resources that you need for your success. So, until next time, you keep those shutters clicking and remember that every single photo that you take is a step on your journey to becoming a better photographer. So keep shooting, keep learning, and most importantly, keep experimenting to find your best shot.